Well, good day and welcome to Working Horses with Jim. I am Brenda, Jim's wife, and we're here today out in our hay field. We've got a beautiful hay day and uh, we are in the process of getting this field raked up while well, Jim and the horses are. And if you were with us on the last video, you will have seen uh, when he cut this field, he and the horses cut this field with their number nine mower. And today um, we are going to rake it up and then Jim will hopefully bale it later today. He is going to try out um, the new to him baler and he'll see how he likes it. And really this is Baron, one of Baron's very first times raking. He's raking with Ken today. So let's go see how everything's going. If you're new to what, how we hay, these are windrows and the dried hay gets turned into these um, tunnels of hay, and then we can pick them up with the baler. Here's the field of hay, and here we've got a beautiful breeze today, nice warm temperatures, so the hay is drying wonderful. Ken and Baron are hard at work. And so is Jim. Baron seems to weave all over the place a little bit, but they're getting the job done. There is still a fair amount of green underneath. So Jim is gonna wait till about it's, it's mid-afternoon right now. He's going to wait till about 6 o'clock tonight, let it sit in the sun a little bit, let the wind hit it a little more, and then we'll try to bail it up then. These guys are out working in the sun. And then these two are over here in the shade hanging out with the cows.
How are you guys all doing? The flies are bad today with this, with all this heat. Hi, Dookie. So many of you have asked, when is Jim going to work Duke and Earl? That is sort of a good question because he, I don't know when he's going to find the time to do it. It's just like, there's just, sometimes there's just not enough hours in the day to do everything. And um, right now it's especially that way. He's letting them grow in the pasture here. Of course he will get to them eventually. But for, for now, they get to loaf in the pasture with the cows. We have some of our neighbor's cows in here. This is a little jersey right here. And they've been incorporated into our herd. There's a whole scene over there. If you guys were, have been with us for a year, you can see Fergie the Holstein over there. She's back. And um, we have just been... They, so they have been incorporated together and they're doing great. It was a little touch and go there to be at, at the beginning, but the two herds have come together nicely. And there's only four extra new cows, but anyways, they're doing good together. We got the field all raked and in the evening we decided it was time to bail. I tried to do a little droning when I was raking with the horses and I messed up and it didn't come out right so I was not able to show you that. But as most of you realize when I'm doing droning there's no audio so I usually try to talk over or put a little music on. Sometimes if I'm really clever I'll put the GoPro on at the same time so I can have the footage and audio of the horses working when I'm doing the go when I'm doing the droning but it's all a lot of extra work. As you can see we just did the one side of the field, the other side will wait till the next day. So here I am with the tractor and baler about ready to bale. I've got a new new baler, at least to me, and I'll talk more about that later on, but I tried with that baler and I had all kinds of troubles so I ended up going back with my old baler and bailed up this hay and got that done and so I've got to work on my new baler to see if I can get that one working properly. So here we are the next day and we got the hay from the first side of this field baled up and now I am down here with Bill and Baron, and we're raking the clover side so that we can get this baled up also. We've decided that we're just going to round bale the clover side because I'm going to feed that to the cows so my neighbor will come up later this evening and bail it up for us with the round baler.
off to our right, we have our oat field. And it's very interesting, at least I think so. Both shades of green are the oat field, and the right-hand shade of green is so much darker than the left-hand shade, and that is because that was sod last year, and the left-hand side was corn. So it just shows how much value is in green, um, the green grass that I plowed under.
Thanks, Abby, for doing the droning today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. We'll see you next time.